So, we have a 95 Camaro here. Um, you had the exhaust video up earlier. It's got a lower intake manifold oil leak right at the very back. And to get to it, since it's so deep in the cowling, you have to drop the whole motor out, reseal everything, take the heads off, do a whole bunch of work. It's about 1500 bucks, and basically it's not worth it. So we decided to go to LKQ in Michigan, get a crate engine, and fix it up. This is the result. Got a lot of parts powder coated. Looks a lot nicer. Uh, we brought it to a race shop here in Windsor, Ontario, AP Racing. They honed up the cylinders, re ringed it, new oil pump, new water pump, all the essentials like that. Basically, just uh, re life in the motor because it was sitting in a junkyard for about, uh, about 12 years now. So, we got the thing, started tearing it down last year. Slowly worked on it and built it up to where we are now. Stock is about 160 horsepower for uh, the, the 3.4 liters and uh, we're looking at about 200 right now because uh, all the head work that they did, they ported out all the airways, reseated the bolts of the valves, widened them, new push rods, higher tension springs. Uh, the camshaft is stock. I didn't want to upgrade that, just I didn't, didn't want to mess with the computer or anything. There's a few little tricks that don't want to have to mess with if you don't have to. Five wheels off. It's been on this engine stand for, oh my god, about a year now. <laughs> Everything is uh, powder coated. Nice and tough. You can drop a hammer on it and it won't even chip. It'll just bend the metal and it'll conform with it because it's so strong. Engine enamel sprayed. Uh, got header paint on all the heat shields. VHT, just Canadian tire stuff. Uh, sprayed the manifolds too, obviously, because for stock, for some reason, they didn't spray them with anything, so just give them some extra protection. This is pretty much what we're looking at. I'm going to take a little video of uh, the engine in there running, and this is exactly where it's leaking out of right now. This whole seam along here is where it's just puking oil out the back right now. Hits the headers, hits the cat. Once it hits the cat because it drips down the headers, it just smokes, smells. A lot of a uh, lot of problems. You got to fill it up about every every week with oil just to make sure it's topped up so I don't run out. Problem will be solved. Throwing this bad boy in. Pretty excited for it. I mean, I didn't want to go to a V8 because it's a lot easier. Don't have to worry about the brakes, the suspension. Don't have to worry about you know a whole lot of things. The computer's good. The wiring harness is a direct fit compared to having to monkey around with everything and swapping it over. So. Take a video of it. Uh, I got the video of uh, my exhaust when uh, with the current engine in. I'm pretty sure this will sound a lot throatier. There's a lot better airflow through it. A lot more tension in the springs, things like that. So, and toned out, it's going to sound basically brand new. So, see what kind of damage we can do. A lot of work. Just got to be patient with this kind of stuff, I guess. <laughs> no, I'll. Uh, Take another video of it in the engine bay and uh, show you guys how she runs. Looking pretty forward to it. So stand by guys and uh, talk to you again soon.